Thank you for coming on Jesse's Stories. Yep, very much appreciated. Thank you very much, Jesse. I'm happy to be here. I've been looking forward to this for weeks. Yay! I was wondering if you could introduce yourself and what you do, and of course, what you sell to. Sure. Well, uh, my name is Matthew. I go by Skip Lup Online. I'm a online Pokemon card streamer, YouTuber, uh, online storefront, and we've been selling cards for years and years, maybe since, what was it, 2020 when the whole COVID pandemic and everything started. Uh, started selling Pokemon cards, getting back into my hobby a little bit, went through my old collection and was just like, man, this is so cool. I, I miss doing all of this. So from that, I went to the store, bought some cards, and I'm like, I just fell right in love back with the game when I got out of it uh, about 10 years prior to that. Um, I tried to keep funding my hobby by selling some extras, and then I figured out how to get, you know, a distributor and became a whole Pokemon storefront from there. And just the rest is history through streaming and YouTube and all that. And I'll be leaving all links below to your shop and your YouTube channel and all your stuff down Sweet. below. So if anyone's interested, please look below. Check it out. <laughs> Go click. Click the links. And now, if you're ready, ready to do a 151 battle. Let's do it. We've got okay. six packs of 151. Oh, yeah. And I even have not a lot of them, but I have these. Oh, top loaders. Let's go. And I have. Perfect. All right. All so right. you can sleeve all those hits you get. Perfect. Oh, yeah. I'm hoping to get hits because <laughs> I want to beat you. Well, you resealed the packs, so I'm sure you're going to win already. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I totally resealed. Totally. <laughs> you want to do that at the same Ready? time? What? Well, do you want to do each pack at the same? Or you want you you want to go first? No, let's do them at the same time. Okay, I cool. like that idea. But I'm not the professional, so we'll see how this goes. No, it's okay. Yeah. Nope, mine mine disappeared. One minute. <laughs> there it oh, goes. Oh, this is a big one. I feel it. Reverse. Oh. Reverse. Oh, nice! I got a full art Arbok in number oh, one. Wow. That's actually solid. The swirl. You already got one. Nice. I'm still slowly moving over here, but mine I keeps on disappearing great. into the. Oh, oh, you got a Charizard. Oh, what? Oh. That's not even fair. Oh, that's not even that I did fair. Not expect. <laughs> pack I did, one, baby. I did not think you topped that pack one. Wow. Okay. Somehow I'm behind with a full art. <laughs> and I got a Charizard. Yes. That's awesome. That's exciting. It sure is. <laughs> Man, has this been the set you've opened the most of is 151? Or what's been, what have you opened most? I've opened most, at least right now, is Paradox Rift. I've opened the most of. Oh, Paradox. What about with you? I love it. I, I don't know. I've opened so much of everything. It's probably been <laughs> Evolving Skies, if I had to guess, is what I've opened the most of. That would honestly uh, make sense. <gasps> right, so Are you going to get something else again? No. <laughs> oh, man. Jolteon I don't know Hollow. I don't think I have anything on this one now. Okay, no. we tied. Nothing. Okay. I have a chance to come back now. Let's go. You do. Mm -hmm. This is neck and neck right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I love Sandro. I don't care if he's not a big Eevee. Pokemon. He's cute. Oh, I got Eevee. That one's awesome. I love that Eevee. <laughs> Almanite. I oddly like Almanite, oh. even though he's not the cutest. I like that he's based off a of prehistoric one of those. I was watching a documentary about where they came from. It was really cool what they based it off of. And Star. <laughs> Nothing in this one. I don't know yet if there's nothing in this one. I think there's nothing, but we'll see. Ditto. There's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fun part of a 151 is you never know. Yeah, I at first just... opened a lot of the Japanese version of 151 when it first came out. Yeah, that's a and lot of fun. I apparently learned today I have some really expensive Master Balls I didn't know I had. Some of them are huge. Yeah, Japanese 151 is crazy. Well, 151 is my personal favorite set. What's your favorite set? My favorite set goes back. Ah, I thought there was something. My favorite set ah, it goes oh. back really far. Uh, probably to about when I was a kid. It was a Platinum Era pack or set um, called Platinum Arceus. That was my favorite. It had oh, Arceus, oh, which is one of wait, my... Wait, wait, look, look what I pulled. Look what I pulled. No, you're Another lying. Another Charizard. You... No, you didn't. You didn't pull that. I did. I just... No, you didn't. You did not pull that. I think I'm winning. <laughs> You did not. So I have double the Charizards. I literally can't come back from that. I think I'm winning this round so far. I you I can't <laughs> win. I I genuinely cannot win unless I get like a God Pack with a Charizard. That's well. I mean, I have two packs. You never you definitely, know, honestly. You definitely, you definitely put it in. You definitely put it in your pack. <laughs> I did not expect that. I guess not paying attention is a good thing because then well, you pull stuff. That's that's exactly what it is. It's always when you least. That's so expected. exciting. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh. Okay, sorry. Congratulations. I'm really excited about that. <laughs> you literally pulled the number one card in the set out of just a few packs, which is insane. Congratulations. 
I just need to come back now. <laughs> but can you come back is the question. Oh gosh, if anything, if Pokemon's taught me anything over the past few years, then no, I can't. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, all right. I'll take that though. Machomp. Ooh, Machomp. Oh, and Zapdos. Zapdos. You got Machomp and Zapdos. All right, we'll take a double. Oh, I got War Turtle. All right, yeah, I lost for sure. <laughs> no way. That hey, is so that. War Turtle right here. Wow, I love that. That one reminds me of the Nirvana album cover, the old one with the baby in the water. You know what I'm talking That's about? That's true. It's one of my favorite ones from One Five One. It looks super Besides cool. Besides all the Charizards I've pulled so far. You're welcome, Skip. <laughs> no, I'm so jealous. You have no idea. Okay, ready? Last pack yeah. magic before temporal force battle. Please. I do think I won this one. <laughs> Please. Hey, Please. Squirtle. That's ironic. Squirtle or Tortle. Cool. I'm dropping Please. cards. Please. 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 Oh, you did Bonnie's Christmas. You know what SIR. We'll take that for sure. Yeah, I didn't get nice. anything in my last pack. All right, hey, we both got an SIR though, or one of the special arts though. You got the Charizard, and we got the Giovanni. That's that's really good. I think we both did pretty solid, to be real with you. Yeah. I got double the Charizards I mean, and then War Turtle. That's my one five one pulls. Okay, I will at least give me this. I got four <laughs> hits instead of three. You clearly got two of the best cards in the set though. Just super good. War Turtle and Charizard. Yep, War Turtle and Charizard starters. Mm -hmm. And the Zard, obviously, is just like, you can't beat it. Oh, so and I good. love that Zard card, too. It's so pretty. It's got a, it's a really unique take. It's not Zard being just, like, super aggressive like usual. He's just kind of, like, chilling, <laughs> flying in the canyon. I like it. Have you seen the Cosmic Charizard one? The that Cosmic? That was a limited time offer one. I own uh, it. I can go and grab it. I'll be off camera for, like, a few seconds, but I do have it. Was it Japanese? Because I do love my Charizards. What? Was it Japanese? No, it's actually from the Pokemon company itself. You know, when they were doing like the mosaics, like Pikachu and stuff. Mm -hmm. They also did like a Galaxy Charizard. What? Do you want to see it? Yeah. Okay, let me go grab it. One minute. Have you guys heard of this Charizard? Yeah. Secret Galaxy? But this is, I think it that's, is. What? That's real? It's real. Yeah. What the hell? I've never it seen that. Yeah, it was part of the whole art series, and this is the only card I liked, because I looked through them all, I didn't even like the Pikachu one, so I got it. That is so cool. Isn't it? I love Charizard. That is such a sick card. Isn't it? I have never seen anything like that. Oh, yeah, I, I hadn't either, but I looked into it, and it is part of the series, so I did grab it, but I'm not putting it in any of my Scarlet and Violet collection, because I am trying okay. to get it. Almost all of them, at least till Temporal Force. I'm not going to do the next one. <laughs> when did that come out? Uh, I think in May. Like You're May teaching 10th. me. What the? Why? How did I miss all this? Okay. <laughs> I'm, I was too focused on other sets, I guess. I don't know what I was doing. That's it's crazy. Okay. I have to go backwards in time because I didn't start recollecting until after the Marshall fires. So after I lost my home was when I first started collecting again. And I had no idea what I was collecting. You're just like, I'm just getting into it. I'm just going to Yep, pretty much. I went on Amazon was my first place. Now I'm more on eBay. <laughs> or just buying from people like you. Right. It's a better place. Amazon's like tough. It's always risky buying with Amazon sometimes. That's true. Unless That's they're good fun. reviewed. That's the only way I go towards them is if they only have positive with zero negative. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Are you ready for <laughs> some temporal? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. We got six of these, too. Oh, yeah. Here we go. I, I don't expect it to be as nice as 151 was to us, but I would think so. So many Zards. I think I just attract Zards. I have since I was little. <laughs> just the Zards just are attracted to. I guess so. Because all the boys were jealous of me when I was little because I got the basic Zard of the day. Oh, Bramble. Oh, yes. The base Zard? Yeah, the base Zard. It, I did sell it before my house burned down, but still. Wait, I got something. Did I get? No. I did Follow not get Whimsicott. No. Oh, energy. Let's what? go. Grass energy. Oh, yep. it. Let's go. Nice. We both got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you have a favorite set era, Skip? I'm a, I'm an oldie. When I grew up, I, I'm always partial to those sets. So my favorite eras are like the original EX era and Diamond and Pearl and Platinum. Those are kind of like my eras I love. Like basically 2004-ish to like 2010 is like my 
Those are my loves. I could open them all day. And the oh, card God. arts are you so unique. Oh, so oh we door. pulled something. Oh my gosh. Oh. I don't know how we keep doing that. Hey, hey. I got relicant. I think I think you take it on that one. I don't know. I think I like the art on that. That's the illustration. And then you got the trainer. Yeah, I got Salvatore. Yeah. I think you have a little bit more of an environment though. I like that on the cards. It's the fish Pokemon, right? Because yeah. these ones I'm still learning from Temple or Tem. Yeah. Yeah. This one. <laughs> Yes, he's like a bottom dweller fish. He's at the oh, bottom okay. of the ocean. Why it's not pretty and doesn't have a pretty name? That's it. Definitely does not. No. <laughs> Be good to me. Be That's good to me. A whole lot of trash me. here. How do you handle that? <laughs> With a big garbage pail. <laughs> I have one next to me. I'm just not using it yet. <laughs> you have to. It'll get away from you so quick. <laughs> oh, come on, Metang. Well, if you pull something, that means I will. So no, you need no. to pull something. Skip. <laughs> well, I did not. Oh, uh, wait. I did it anyways without you pulling something. Yes. I got scissor. <laughs> all right. Nice. Hit. Uh, I mean, Temple's not being super mean to us, honestly, so far. Sometimes you can get like literally nothing out of these. This set, this set has gotten really rough sometimes. I have two pulls so far. You have one. Yeah, That's not bad not at bad. all. No, not bad at all. I'm just happy with all the zards I got today. One minute. That's what's going to bug me. I have so much trash on my side right now. All right. Trash moment. That wasn't a zard. That was the zard. The zard. From 151, baby. Zard. So crazy. I definitely think you put that in there. <laughs> oh, my God. No, but oddly enough, I have pulled that card before when I first opened the English wow. 151 and the Japanese. Oh, walking <gasps> way. Nice. Your second yes. pull. Yeah, we're like tied right now. We are. I didn't pull anything this round. This is my time. I've got to make up for the last one. Turn. Pull a really good one then, if you're going to win this one. <laughs> oh, I will. Since they do get sent to me. <laughs> <laughs> they get sent. So you even know, though I think I'm just I want to win, I'm okay with losing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Reverse. And what is that? Meltan. Meltan. <laughs> Ooh. And a mischievous non hollow. Let's see. Let's see something good for you. The texture of those cards are so different. Oh, we got the same hollow. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my god. <laughs> Flutter me. I so like that, that means one. you need to pull something. Gee, skip. Because when you pull something, then I pull something. I can only pull for other people, good. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why you're pulling for me, technically, still. <laughs> oh, you're too. right. I, I guess you're right. Because I rather support the business, too. Okay, I need and to. Love I need to get one. this. Last pack magic. Be good to me. Go. Oh, ah, I couldn't do it. Wait, what? What? Are you serious? I pulled like gold. <laughs> the gold. Every done. time I don't pay attention, I pull something. I'm done. <laughs> I won both rounds, clearly. <laughs> Golds in that set are literally the hardest thing to pull. Out of every rarity, golds are the hardest thing in that set to pull. And it's the Raging Bolt. I and still want to get the other version of this, too. The special art one? That one's yeah. crazy. That's okay. I'll just get them from you. <laughs> I think I think it's safe to say that I lost. Yeah, I would say. I'm shocked. I need to pick out my cards more often for myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you want to show your cards, that? too? Yeah, let's do a final recap here of both sets, I guess. Well, let's do, okay. uh, I do have a ball prepped. <laughs> you want to go Temporal? I got two. I got Salvatore A, and I got the Walking Wakey X. And then Hello. I got Scizor, um, the fish Pokemon with a very not great name, and then Golden Raging Bolt. Golden Bolt. That's Golden what I'm Bolt. talking about. 151. Got Zapdos EX. This is probably the biggest hit. The Giovanni's Charisma with the Persian. Arbok, Full Art. And Machoke. This one's actually really awesome too. Helping them move in. Really pretty. And then I got War Turtle. Still one of my favorites. Charizard. Zardy Boy. And then I guess the best card in the set. Fake. <laughs> Rigged. Rigged opening. Rigged. <laughs> All I did, funny enough, the gold came from your um the two package deal that you were doing i took one from one of them i yeah. opened one and then the other one i counted seven so it came from you that 
Wow. My 151 came from me, though, that I've been collecting the past whenever it first came out. That's one of the toughest things about running a store, honestly, is that when you end up seeing, like, I mean, it feels really good and rewarding when other people hit, like, amazing cards. But then you're like, that was sitting here for, like, days and weeks and even months, possibly. And I didn't open that. <laughs> But you sent it to me and I yes. used it for our opening too. It couldn't have gone, it couldn't have gone a better way. Going no. to you and then pulling it live like that. Just That's you don't beat those moments. Skip gold right here. Skip gold. Skip can hit gold. Skip gold. <laughs> a guaranteed gold. There you go. I wouldn't say that. Careful of that. <laughs> a guaranteed, guaranteed chance. Guaranteed a type of pull. <laughs> guaranteed chance at a goal. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Um, actually, we kind of talked about some of these, but one of my curious questions that I had for you is what mm -hmm. inspired you to name your well, business channel, everything. Skip, Skip up. up. Yeah, that's kind of well, the original goal was like, not necessarily to start a business. The well, I guess it was always like a thing on the side. But originally Skip up, I was thinking of like, I don't want to just be like another pokey like pokey this pokey that like there was so many pokey things around there that kind of like put a brand in one place and keep it there and i was like i want to name that like maybe sounds kind of catchy and kind of fits things that i like into it so the original thought was me and my girlfriend angel we're going to start doing a youtube channel and we we're going to make videos together you can go to my channel to this day the first few videos that we made were both of us on camera together back in 2020 2021 something like that and uh, we took my favorite Pokemon at the time, which was Skitty. Um, and then we took, I, was, I know that's a weird one, but Skitty was my favorite at the time because I got it as a character. It was, I was playing Mystery Dungeon and that was the character it starred me with for whatever reason. And I was like, okay, I just loved Skitty from then on out. And Angel's favorite at the time was Piplup. So we're like, let's put Skitty Piplup together, Skiplup, boom. And it sounded nice. I mean, I like the sound of it to this day. And then I'm like, Piplop's awesome. Looks like a great logo. So I had someone custom make a logo, you know, like a pixely looking one for the Piplop and then just went from there. And I, I liked it since then. I, I love the username. It is a good one, honestly, because I know because I've gone to other channels before I at least discovered you mm -hmm. like uh, Blastoise. Yeah, he just goes by Blastoise. Mm -hmm. Like he's a fast talker. He reminds me more of like... Um, if you were, well, that is kind of a gamble in Pokemon in general, but he reminds me yeah. of your stereotypical gambler because he talks really fast. And then he shows this card like he has, I don't think he has a YouTube channel, but he does have um, TikTok mm -hmm. and once had whatnot, but he's mainly TikTok oh, okay. and has only been TikTok. But at least with you, you're slower talking and entertaining and you do hats and noises. <laughs> and... <laughs> I don't know if I should Voices. show my hat collection. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I just do whatever comes to mind just to try to keep it entertaining while doing the normal stuff. Like, obviously, it's content to, like, open packs and see what's inside and all that. But uh, I try to do something that stands out, and hopefully it comes off that way to people. But I just try whatever I like to do. Yeah. Well, and genuine, too, at least to me, because I do watch PokerRev. I do. I have an addiction of watching Pokemon just openings in general. It's so and fun. I have yeah. explored <laughs> oh man it's just fun too like i don't know it's just it's an addicting space once you get into it you're kind of like in this world and it's like pokemon's like big enough and small enough at the same time where like you feel tight knit to everything even though the community is so big does that make sense like we're all yes. still in the same net it's weird and i love it but like, i can't think of anywhere else that's like that it's true and there's like little sub nets too yeah like, like small you ones everywhere investors and your uh you know people who play the game and people who just like this type of pokemon and all these different groups the streamers the people who are just like making youtube buying collections all that stuff there's all those groups but they, they come oh, combine yeah, yeah. They come by. with me i like streamers like you that are genuine in their content because i have again been with like there's a lot of florida based those streamers i've realized a whole lot of florida based streamers mm -hmm. Uh, like I can't think of the company that I first ever went to when I was first exploring streamers and um, I guess content creators but they like had little shifts of just openers or I don't know what they're called 
card people that open cards. <laughs> yeah, I guess they wanted to send like streamers, maybe yeah. just different streamers that would like have shifts, uh, just opening. Yeah, and they yeah. would like trade off, and there would be like three within a three to four hour span. You'd have three oh, wow. different ones, and then they'd go back and stay, and then whoever was voted on the longest would stay the longest. That was my yeah. weirdest and interesting experience that I didn't like because it's more of a betting game. That's what it became on whatnot, at least a betting game of who can stay on the longest. And oh, it's one pack of cards. That's really worth only four dollars. You just paid twenty dollars to get nothing. <laughs> well, who can stay on the longest isn't like just the streamer themselves. Yeah, just the streamer themselves. So they just stay on, start opening, or sometimes they do like multiple packs. They have you bet on it for like. 10 to 20 dollars and once you bet on it if you get the hit because they do just like you do skip with the prize chase the cards and stuff yeah yeah and say but they do it like a betting game it literally is a betting game of you can do two cards for 20 dollars, so they're only worth five each so you end up paying double but whoever their boss is they normally want you to pay double triple so on that was my i mm-hmm. don't want to continue this experience yeah, that reminds me of a situation that whatnot had over there. They changed their policies and stuff a lot once like uh there was like a big situation with that, with all that stuff being rigged and put together where it just people were crazy overpaying like packs for I'm talking like fifty dollars a pack. Some people were paying twenty a pack just for like it was too much. It was just it went too far. And then the games were manipulated and stuff too, and it just turned into like a carnival, you know. Yeah, I left when it became too much. So I don't know when the rules changed because I had already changed. That's where I discovered Blastoise because he was the first streamer on TikTok that I saw. But I was was with you on whatnot. (laughs) I was over there for a while. Yeah, on the on whatnot. And then I just like it seemed like there wasn't really anyone that was able to balance like having fun and like having extra incentives to buy stuff while also keeping things realistic. Like it just to me, a lot of things ended up looking greedy to a lot of people. And that's where I tried to fill that spot is have fun and maybe add other elements that isn't just, you know, opening packs, like have something deeper inside a sort of story or theme to each stream and not make people have to overpay for that sort of thing because you shouldn't have to. There's enough, there's enough there that you don't have to do that. Yeah. And your prices are always great on top of that. Like, that's why I do buy from you constantly, because you do great prices. You don't take advantage of people. You check in with the people that are buying from you. So you're the first I've seen actually do that. Because I know Blastoise, which I know there's another Blastoise too. So I don't know his full name, but he is Blastoise on TikTok. He does a little bit of the kind of playing you. Because he does just one Gibby a week of Mm -hmm. a slab but you have to buy a certain amount of product within that time period. And mm-hmm. his prices are like 10 to 15, sometimes $20 more than yours. I compare prices constantly just to see, but you always keep yours fair. Yeah. Sometimes yours goes up a little bit, but it's still fair. It's not cheating the system. It's keeping mm-hmm. it fair. That's why I buy from you and highly recommend anyone else to buy from you. If you're Pokemon. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Try to keep it just whatever reasonable as you know, for everything, just fair. And, you know, for live streams, obviously, we just try to keep it fun and like the lowest around for live streams for having fun in what we're doing. But then for shipping stuff sealed, like shipping things sealed, there's a whole big different market for and people just try to do the lowest they can. And that's what I try to do, too. Within like, you'll be always within one or two dollars of the biggest people always, you know, if not beating them with a lot of prices. Yeah, but your live opening products like uh, Obsidian Flames, I know. Right now, at least you have it at a lower price than anyone I've seen right now. I think you have it at like 110 yeah. for live opening. Yeah, yeah, it's at 110 for live opening. Just, it's, I don't know, just fun to open. I don't have a lot of it, but, you know, <laughs> anyone who wants to just chase his art or something, they shouldn't have to, you know, go crazy for that. That's true. That's mm-hmm. very true. I like where this is going. I did write down questions in case I forgot, but let's see. Oh, what Pokemon are your favorite right now? Well, since Skitty is Skitty's no longer my favorite, but Skitty's definitely top three. Pokemon that I'm most likely to collect and I absolutely love is Pichu. It's a shame. Pichu's like uh you know Pichu, right? Let me show. I have a question. Not really, honestly. You don't know Pichu? I don't know Pichu. Show me Pichu. That's it. All right. 
Pichu oh. is baby Pikachu, the baby oh evolution of Pikachu. So this cute. is my favorite. And I have a ton of Pichu cards and like special rare ones and everything. Man, I should have had some with me over here, but um, I might. No, they're downstairs. Um, it's my favorite Pokemon right now. And it's been for the past few years. And it's a shame because the last time on a trading card, at least, Pichu has been made in English was over a decade ago. It's like 12 years ago, 13 years ago at this point. But I do have a theory that we're going to get a Pichu card in Scarlet and Violet somewhere. I just have a theory about it. I can go deep into it, but I just, I feel like Pichu's coming soon. That's my favorite right now. Um, I like Puzzle and Minum. I like Mimikyu. I like um, Rotom a ton and all the forms like the refrigerator and the mow, the lawnmower and all that. I just, I'm a sucker for that. I don't know why. Giratina, absolutely love Giratina. And those are kind of, and Ludicolo. How can I forget Ludicolo? I don't know which one that is. Like, Ludicolo. I'm still learning Pokemon, especially for, I guess, the newer generation. He's the guy that we have as an emo everywhere with the big face up, the the um, close up face. Ludicolo. Um, gosh, where's my plushie? I have a plushie of <laughs> him sitting around too. I just can't find him. I love that you have plushies. That makes me happy. I have to, because when we have certain memes with Pokemon and stuff, like like the squirrel up there, you know, I got to make sure I Your have Your favorite props. Pokemon, you mean? That's my... <laughs> that's not my favorite Pokemon. That is, <laughs> I know. that is my most hated Pokemon on the planet. Anyways, I don't have the plush, but he's got like a sombrero on, Ludicolo. Um, he's green and yellowish. And he's got is he kind of like the peppered Pokemon, which I personally think are one of the worst Pokemons ever made? The green and red pepper ones? I forgot what they're called, but they're uh, just food pokemon <laughs> no they kind of grow from like the bay the lowest evolution is low tad he looks like a little uh he has like one of the lily pads on his back and he like floats in the water he's kind of like a tadpole like that and then he evolves up into ludicolo which is like a hairy i don't even know what a hairy duck with a sombrero <laughs> on but he's like uh, he's like a little chubby too like a, and he's shaped not like a duck i don't have the plushie i don't know that's it's okay. Can we put a picture on the screen of Ludicolo? Yes. Is that possible? Okay. Picture of Ludicolo. Bang. That's him. Picture of Ludicolo. Yes. <laughs> like, I love Cinderins, which I actually have here. I'm going to really oh, go I have a lot of plushies, too. Okay. Let me try to find Because right now, at least, my favorites is Cinderins. Oh, that's sick. Cinderins, show yourself. There's Cinderins. That's awesome. Is that a Pokemon? Oh, I've never even seen that plush. That's awesome. Uh, they have other ones, but they're more expensive. So I went towards the sitting one because. Cinderin. I like the city ones. They work they work good. Yeah. I tend to like fire Pokemon and then I have my Charizard. Oh man. That's a six Zard. <laughs> Thank you. Is Zard You're your the favorite? first to ever see that this is something I'm very passionate about. And my family doesn't understand why I'm doing this, but you know, it's it is what phase. it is. It's not a phase, Mom. This is me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have more. Like I have the Paldean um Pokemon, the starter set. Mm -hmm. And then I have Cinderance, uh, Scorn Bunny. I still need to get the oh, second yeah. evolving of Cinderance, and I want to get Charmander and Charmeleon still. But Charmeleon's really ugly as a plush. Charmander's adorable as a plush. I've learned. Poor Charmeleon. <laughs> he, they just haven't made him cute. Like no, Charmeleon's no. cute, and they make him ugly as a plush. Certain ones they don't do. They do dirty, like the Ludicolo. I, I know I don't. I don't have it. But they made him so ugly as a plushie. He's so ugly. But I love it because of that. You know, that makes sense. I like awesome. it. Is Charizard your favorite? Charizard is still well. Cinderance and Charizard are pretty neck to neck. Like mm -hmm. I have collected literally just Cinderance cards alone, <laughs> whether they're um, sought after or like, oh, you're just there. And then yeah. Charizard, I collect just based off of art I like, not based okay. off of what is most expensive <laughs> i just go based off of art and i love 151 art period mm -hmm. and then the this charizard that i hunted down that i heard about and had to find the galaxy charizard that's so cool yeah so i collect charizards based off of i guess appearance i'm shallow like that it's no so what you should do it based enjoy it off of what you like like it's like we were talking about there's different pockets for everything there's people who like art just like collecting amazing art, there's people who like collecting for value, and there's no right or wrong answer to that. You know, just do what you like and enjoy. There's enough room here for that, hundred percent. I am actually collecting because I want to. Um, 
like I said, the Scarlet and Violet era from mm -hmm. the first set, which I don't like as much anymore, all the way to Temporal Force. I'm probably going to stop there and not continue. We'll see how Why? the other sets go. Why? Why would you stop Why? there? Because I haven't completed them yet. Like oh. Obsidian Flame, I'm missing three or four cards just for the high sought after ones. And then okay. the very first set, I have all the sought after ones. I just haven't gotten the plain boring ones yet put in. <laughs> okay. So you just need so to I pause have, like, and fill. Yeah. So I'm trying to fill them. I will do a series on here too of eventually filling it too. When that will happen, I don't know because I want to interview more people such as yourself, Skip. But yeah, I will be doing a series on that because this is Jesse's stories and everyone has a story. <laughs> I like that. That's a cool journey to follow with. I like that a lot, actually. Well, thank you. Just like since someone asked me a while ago to do some more of my personal cult slash just personal journey, I'm doing a little more of that too, sprinkling it in on top of my series, which will eventually end of the behind the scenes. And mm -hmm. then this series, I don't know how long it will last. However, many people that are genuine and not taking advantage of people just want to put that out there. So that says a lot about Skip being on here. <laughs> uh those are the only ones I'll have on here are the ones that are genuine, not taking advantage of people and not, yeah, that's the main thing, not taking advantage of people and actually enjoying what they do, which you clearly do. You like it whether that. it's a horrible stream of pulls or a great stream of pulls. It's fun either way. I would prefer if it was a great stream of pulls. <laughs> hey, I've had my bad streams and good streams with you, but I loved both of them equally. And I can't always show up due to my own work schedule, but I try to show up whenever I can. And I try to purposely buy whenever I can just to keep you running too. I really appreciate that. You have no idea. That's awesome. I love That's the regulars. Like, well, I eventually became more of a regular. I was on Whatnot and I was a regular on there, but then I left. So I didn't see you for a couple of months. So I mm -hmm. became brand new when you came on um, TikTok. Oh, yeah. Because I, I didn't match it up at first. Yeah. yeah. No, it's okay. I think my username was a little different from whatnot to TikTok, TikTok, but I'm not positive because I completely like shut it down <laughs> the second I was tired of being taken advantage of. Understandable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was waiting and hoping you would end up on there. And then you eventually did. I came for your very first stream on there. It was a lot of fun. That changed everything. Going to TikTok changed everything. Yes. I hope TikTok stays too, because I'm worried about the ban. I'm like 50-50 on it. I'm like, yeah, I think it does have a real chance to go because they push some silly things through sometimes. Like this is just wild, like to me, them wanting to ban TikTok over anything else. But then I just I feel like enough people would push back, I would hope. You know, it seems like there's a lot of people who don't even think it's right and can hold it up. I hope. That's just what I hope for. But we'll find a way to move on either way if that happens, right? Right. But I personally would like to have it because I have a chance of getting booked with an agency on TikTok because of my following. <laughs> so I would Absolutely. like to be able to do that so I can, yeah, because I'm transitioning right now between jobs. I still work. Okay. I still have a day job, but that job, yeah. <laughs> transitioning this is the best way to put it and some okay. more of what i want to <laughs> continue doing which is writing youtube yeah writing in youtube and doing the stories and putting the story out there yeah such as your story like um oh this is a very important one that i was curious about because i know you collect a lot of sets i don't know mm -hmm. how many sets you have but uh what sets have you completed I haven't completed as many sets as people think. They're like, Skip, what's your craziest collection ever? Like the most, the biggest card I even have is the Umbreon alternate art from Evolving Skies. That's the biggest card I have. I don't have like crazy, like $20,000 slab, all this and that. I just, I'm more in the camp of like, I'll go for a master set of new sets that come out. And then I collect just cards I like here and there. Just, it could be a... 20 cent card like this drift blim i like from a three a two-pack blister during the black and white era it's like that's a cute card it, it's worth nothing but i love it and i love drift blim so that's the stuff i just like to collect you know and pichus i'll collect every pichu there's some there's some ridiculously expensive ones i'll never have but um sets i have completed is uh anything from celebrations onward everything before that i kind of sold bits and pieces of to keep things going um when i first started 
uh, running my business through before I streamed and everything. I ran my business through TCG player, just selling singles and buying small collections and stuff. Um, but everything like celebrations, I do have almost a complete evolving skies. I'm just missing like maybe some rainbows um, or some regular full arts. I have brilliant stars, Astro Radiance, Lost Origin, Pokemon Go, Silver Tempest, Crown Zenith, and then every Scarlet Violet set I have. Maybe missing a card or two from some of them, but all of those I have completed. Wow, that's impressive. That's Temporal great. is hard. Honestly. Temporal what? is hard, though. Temporal is tough to complete. Temporal, yeah. Mm -hmm. With me, even Paradox feels hard because I bought most of the Paradox that I have open besides doing a little, which not a lot, on my mm -hmm. own. Um, when I looked to see the set, to see how many I was missing, I went, oh my gosh, I thought I had it almost all because that's the next one I'm going to start filling because I'm purposely starting to fill some so I can, when I'm ready on this channel, to start yeah. showing and going, let's see if we can. Kind of oh, like wow. Poker Rev does, except my own version of it. We're going for this. It reminds me of uh, kind of like uh, Real Breaking Nate has that, where every time he pulls a card, he'll put it in the master set and you get to see it kind of go over time. It's not even necessarily one video, but it's over time. He just keeps showing the progress. And I, I love when he does those videos. I do like Breaking Nate a lot. He's actually someone I would love to have on here eventually. Yeah. He seems so <laughs> genuine, like just the genuinely nicest guy ever. I've never met him or anything, but he seems like most stand-up dude ever. Yeah, and I like the jokes he does with this editor too. <laughs> like, I like that a lot too. Some humor in it, yes. Yeah, he gives him a hard time, but this editor always is joking and editing and jokes within there and team Marie, which I'm always for. <laughs> yeah, that's big. And you actually have a similar feel to Breaking Nate, actually, because you and your girlfriend. Yes, I we didn't did. realize that until after the fact, but you guys do have a similar feel because you're both genuine. You're both in mm -hmm. relationships. It doesn't have to be a marriage for it to be a relationship. And you're both doing card stuff. That's true. She did. She more just likes opening the cards and stuff. Now I do more of the YouTube. I started getting more into just the YouTube and YouTube has kind of evolved from how we started together. And now I kind of just do the YouTube, but we still every set comes out we do like the craziest like degenerate rip of so many booster boxes every single time and we got to fill it out it's a tradition you know you got to do it you got to yeah. do it you got to i'm actually starting to collect right now i have one box of obsidian flames i'm starting to buy and just put the boxes in i am going to open them i'm not someone who doesn't like having i don't do the keep closed product collection i don't do it that way because I do write children's books, I do. I have been putting together little gift Pokemon mm -hmm. card things that will be going with my books when I open my store <laughs> with my That's business, awesome. which won't be ready for at least another year, maybe less, hopefully less. But I've been building that for a while because I want to put both of my passions together, writing. I love Pokemon. I love so that. I figured, hey, why not give kids Pokemon? Because I write majority children books, so... <laughs> I don't know a kid that wouldn't want a package like that. <laughs> that's a reward. That's a reward for the book. Like that's that's awesome. You yeah, and book. you're guaranteed a Charizard. Like I purposely have gone on and bought Charizard, so every child will get a Charizard in their little gift bag. It is a guarantee. I purposely made sure I put a Charizard card in everyone. That's why you saw I have sleeves because I made sure to sleeve it up for each of them. And that put... is so cool. Yeah, because. Charizard was my first love, and that's I like to put together things that I think another child would like that I love. I love that. That's awesome. Yeah. I can't wait to see how that comes out. I don't know when. That's why I haven't given any dates, but you're the first person since you do Pokemon. And I'm combining both my writing and my company combined. So selling my own stuff plus selling others published stuff, but it will 100% be theirs. It will just have my symbol on it if they choose to take part in it. Mm -hmm. which I haven't figured all the logistics of that yet. I still have to do that. But the selling part, my shop part, I can do first. <laughs> yeah, you can but, start and develop it like that. Yeah, that sounds yeah. really cool, though. That sounds like extremely unique. And that's great. Thank you. You are the first to find out. And I do already have some of my children's books ready, and I've already taken a lot of pictures, but I still need to do a disclaimer because I also put in some of the kids' bags little miniature toy Pokemon Mm -hmm. And there's also fidget toys of Pokemon, so it still stays oh, Pokemon cool. themed within the bag. And then they get a bunch of bulk because every parent I've ever read that's bought from anyone like you or 
just in general said their kids love bulk so i just mm-hmm. shove the bulk in purposely that's why when i buy from you i keep the bulk because that's going to kids unless i need it for my collection i first give some of my collection and then i give it to kids pay it forward yeah so it's going somewhere i'm not selling it i'm keeping it either for myself or kids that's the only categories <laughs> it's got a place though which is good and they love it they absolutely love it a lot of people just throw it out I did that in the beginning because I got too overwhelmed. I didn't know what to do with it. Right now I'm getting overwhelmed because I have a lot of bulk (laughs) that I don't know what to do with. But I also have room to make like Mm -hmm. at least 15 or 18 more bags. But I also don't want to overtake up my closet. So I might have to get more books and actually start opening my shop sooner than later. (laughs) If you you need bulk, I have bulk. (laughs) I'm just kidding. I appreciate it. So much. So much. Me too right now. I have an, two entire drawers filled with bulk. And then this bulk you sent me because I don't know what to do with it. I just put it on top of my dresser until I can figure out what to do with it. And then mm-hmm. more of your bulk that you sent me, I have in the <laughs> closet next to the bags because I don't know what to do with it. Because some of it's old stuff and some of it's new and I might use it for my collection. Mm-hmm. It's the I'll get to it pile. It just all goes to the side. You're like, oh, I just don't have time to go through all this right now. Yeah, you got it. It gets yeah. stressful. It does. I think about it every day. I'm like, I need to go through this pile over here. <sighs> but then there's this pile and all this. and uh. Yeah, I see your bulk yeah. back. That's getting ready that's, to be sent off. <laughs> yeah. That's, I know it, it's that never ending. Like, yeah, when I open it. <laughs> yeah. Same stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. I did only write so many questions because I'm not good with coming up always on the spot, though we've done a lot on the spot. No, you're good. Um, it's been awesome. It's been awesome. You. Hopefully you've been I've able really to learn a little bit my about time it. With you. Oh, me too. Except that you won the pack battle. That's the only thing. Uh-huh. I didn't expect that. <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair, Temporal Forest came from you. So <laughs> I'll take the win. Okay, I'll take the win. If it all came from <laughs> that me, side of it, you <laughs> won on that one because that came from your store itself. There you and go. then the one five one, like I said, that mm-hmm. came from just me because I've been mm-hmm. collecting from Amazon and eBay, just randomly buying and then collecting and putting it, and then boxes like the one five one box that came from. Oh, the yeah. And, yes. Yeah, my goal is to get 151 of them right now because I took away six. I think I'm at 24, so I have a long way to go of collecting just the cards because I want to do a 151 opening of 151 cards. That's so cool. Yeah, just telling you some of my ideas. (laughs) You have to replenish though after this now. Yeah. You have to get more. Uh, Well, I'm not quite there yet because I'm only at 24, so I need to get like the small... ETB box because I want to continue just randomly getting it from random people and then randomly putting it in like actually Amazon has a good deal on them uh they do like I think it's like 10 or 11 dollars right no they made it higher no it's six dollars right now you can just get multiples and it's from someone who does what you do Mm -hmm. I know the gaming store because I bought from them multiple times and you can just get like three or four or one if you want to and that person hasn't done anything bad so far (laughs) perfect but yeah five stars five stars five stars yep five stars (laughs) uh let's see oh well we already know where we can find you but if you want to you can tell everyone where they can find you you can find me on youtube at skiplup yt i have to add the yt because someone took youtube or someone took just skiplup i don't know who it is it's just someone i don't know on tiktok i am also skiplup yt my tag you can find me we stream monday through friday on there sometimes saturday um yeah i haven't really grown my instagram too much but a follow would be really nice over there just skip up on there i do follow you on that so i'll leave all links below including his store which i highly recommend checking out if you're a pokemon fan if you're just a cult watcher maybe you can learn about pokemon and go check out his store uh yes the store is skiploppspokeshop.com skiploppspokeshop.com Check us out. We have great deals on there. Oh, yeah. He does really great deals. And even for some of the live openings, there's, I know for Paldea Fates, I think you have like up to like 100 or 600 cards, something like that. You can get live opening. You can get a lot of packs opened if you want to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now we get to do the ending part. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Still sure. working on that. Well, thank you for one for being on here. We had a nice pretty short interview but a good one 
I feel um, like we packed a lot into a pretty good amount of time. What do you think? I think we did. And we got like more than what I wrote down in questions, which was exciting. I know it's perfect. If maybe we can have a round two of people like if people in the comments have a lot of questions further, maybe we can go deep into some stuff sometime. Oh yeah. And if they want you back on the show, well, back on the my story. channel, which is like a show, you can leave a comment down below because I'd like to have him again. And there's going to be other guests, which I hope like Sarah Berman back on too. And yeah. Awesome. So now slogan time. Embrace your truth. Tell your story. If you like the content, please subscribe. Leave a comment because it helps the algorithm. <laughs> and like. And yeah. Thank you, Skip. I'm going to stop the... Have a great day, everybody. Yes, have a great day, everybody.